Hello Gemini, we are going to start your week off with positive vibes because this is your good news reading. Let us get started. Let's see what positive vibes are coming through for you in today's reading. This energy is going to be for the rest of the week. Well, 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 this is good. Whatever has been bothering you, you're going to put that down. There's been something that you've been carrying. Yep, look at that. Yep. Yep, yep, this is related to your heart. Um, I feel like you're going to put yourself first. There is an energy coming through. It's like this is a very different reading than I've had of all the other readings I've done. Immediately this card comes in, yeah, and um, the, the reading is good news, right? But I feel like there's been a situation happening with you where it wasn't so much good news. The Ten of Wands is a stressful card. The Ten of Wands talks about anxiety and worries that we carry, but you've been doing it, which tells me this can be a relationship that you've been in for a while. Um, with the Two of Pentacles being here, you've been holding on about making a decision for a while Something that's meant it's good for you. Um, I kind of got this vibe like you, you want to do what's right for you. And this is very, very, very good energy. With the Queen of Cups being up here like this, it tells me you're putting yourself first. This is the good news. This is the good news. This is beautiful. Let's see what other cards come in here. Let's see what other energies will come in here. This is definitely a connection. Um, you, you may be having, finding it hard to release this energy. I kind of like feel like... It's like you're almost putting your look at this. All the cards are just like turned over on my hand. I'm just going with with all of them. They're so straightforward. You're going to have a very quick change of mind here. Um, I do feel like you are connected to somebody. Now, the thing is with this reading, I don't feel honestly that you and this person are going to have a breakup. Okay. I just kind of like feel like you're putting yourself first in the connection. Um, there may have been times that you've been sacrificing way too much. And you need to make a decision what's good for you. But there is a connection here with the devil card coming up, um, which is also the Capricorn energy as well. I do feel like you're connected to this person. And um, I think they're connected to you as well. But your change of attitude is going to be what changes the direction in this relationship. And this is the funniest thing. You know, sometimes when we think that something is going wrong in a connection, we tend to keep on giving more of ourselves into the relationship. And then it just keeps on going wrong. And when we kind of like stop and go, whoa, at this point in time, I need to be giving my, more of my attention to myself because I'm under stress right now. I can't keep carrying the stress that is going on here connected to this relationship. And you start to look at your own energy, even if it means pulling back a little bit. Um, it's actually the energy that is needed to make a shift. It's actually the vibe that is needed to come in and actually reorganize the energies of a connection. And this is exactly what's going to happen. This person is attached to you as much as you are attached to them. And I do feel like um, you guys will... Um, you, if you're going through a difficult time, if they're sort of like taking you for granted, if they if they have this vibe of uh, where there's a bit of out of control things going on between you and them, the moment you shift your energy back to yourself, they will definitely feel that. And it's going to make them change their attitude towards you. Um, sometimes we think people won't care, but we'll be really surprised how much people really do care. And when we start caring for ourselves, you will notice a shift in them because this energy, it happens, there's a very quick shift happening here with this um, Eight of Wands. It's very fast movement. It's almost like the moment you change your energy, shift it back to yourself and away from their connection, away from this person, they feel it immediately. It makes them come in like that. And that's what you want to see. That's what you want to see. You want to see somebody coming in with a Seven of Pentacles energy and kind of like going, you know what? Um, maybe I should reinvest in this connection. Maybe I should put my effort into this connection and see where this goes. This is very good. Uh, this is very good. Let's get a card out for you guys and have a look. Yes, this is the good news. Look, the Ace of Swords energy. Clarity of belief. Boom. In this deck, I love the way they call the Ace of Swords clarity of belief in the love, in the love, uh, psychic love tarot. The reason why is because it's all about your belief systems. You know, how we face the world is all about our perspective on how we look at things. That's how we solve problems. When we change our perspective, we solve a problem. And I feel like from the very beginning of the reading, that was, this is exactly what has been coming through. 
change your perspective, change your clarity of belief, change where you what you're looking at. And it's what's literally going to set you free from this problem that is happening here. And it's also going to be what solves the problem as well. This is a very excellent reading. Look at this. Observe. There you go. Pull back your energy just a little bit. There comes a time. This is the hangman card, by the way. There comes a time where we got to um, pull back our energy. It comes a time when we got to start focusing more on ourselves. And I feel like that time is now for you. This week, let it be your week. Um, if they don't contact you or reach out to you, don't do the same to them. Let it go. Um, and see what they do. Do something different and put energy into yourself. You know, I feel, I feel like just take care of yourself this week and um, do what is good for you and observe what they do. Um, and that's when you're going to see a shift in them. When they see you sort of going, well, you know what? I'm not going to worry about this connection. I'm going to actually start worrying about myself. I'm going to be the queen of wands, energy, queen of cups energy. Sorry. Doesn't matter. Um, male or female energy. I'm going to be there for me. That's your change of perspective. And the moment that happens, observe their behavior because I feel like you're going to get some kind of enlightenment with the hangman card. It literally always talks about enlightenment, you know, after waiting and observing and looking at something from a different perspective, you get it. You see something you've never seen before. And I feel like your person's going to see something they've never seen before as well. No more running after this person. You're only going to run after yourself. And then you're going to see a change of dynamics in this relationship. Whoa, guys, thank you so much for coming. And if this reading resonates with you, just hit that thumbs up button. Even subscribe because these readings do come out on a daily basis. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.